I just got a cutting deck for my Rider 1200 from a super nice guy, Mikael. He had a 1200 which, uh, where the engine failed and uh, this was uh, kind of left over so I got to buy it from him. And you can see there has been some repairs. There are some cracks and stuff like that but it's a very good... Um, it is very good to uh, start working with. I got the belts and um, also this uh, front uh, attachment or lift or whatever we can call it. And that's a cool um, cover too. Yeah, it is complete. That's good. My plan for this cutting deck now is to weld, there are some cracks like here and underneath here there is a lot of rust damage. So just um, fix the worst and uh, use it the rest of this season and maybe do a little bit more serious renovation or fixing up uh, during the winter or maybe next spring or something like that. As you can see, there are many layers of steel here from before, so I think I'll just make sure it's straight and then weld like a washer or something here where it's 
the baddest and uh, yeah there are some weaknesses here but we'll uh, put some weld on it and I think it will be much better I won't win any prize for the welding today, but at least I don't think I will get a rock in my face or something while doing the lawn. So this uh, will do what it's supposed to do. some paint on the top side too but painting is so boring so I didn't let you see it but um, it's time to sleep now super sketchy painting here by this frame I just used a high pressure washer to get all the dirt off and painted it so I don't think it will last that long but it looks better and then also the cutting deck I even painted this <laughs> these um, uh, belt wheels and I never done that before just ah let's see what happens it's uh, it's not the most serious uh, reconditioning but um, I put it out in the sun to dry fast because I want to move the lawn this evening This is not the right screw and nut combination. It should be some uh, something that looks like this. And this part here is supposed to glide in this area here. So it should be put in like this. And they these ones, they are from Who's Corner. You can only get them there. I'm sure you can make something of your own, but um, I changed these before from another mover. And they get worn unevenly. You see it's really worn here but not at all here. So you can kind of place them differently and reuse them.
Since it is so worn here, I added this bracket here to make sure this whole thing doesn't go inside. And I also added this small washer here because I, it's not supposed to be, uh, it's supposed to be able to move like this, even though you tighten this nut. And this is just to, to get everything together. springs that is uh, holding this up or like um, uh, it, it helps to lift it so uh, lift spring whatever uh, are off and uh, both both uh, nuts for the holding bolt are off so should be just to push out the, the bolts and then get this snow plow out of the way This uh, subframe came with the cutting deck and I forgot to paint um, it when I had it uh, when I had the uh, paint out but um, here is one connection point underneath and then up front with some kind of lock here So I got this subframe here and it's a really, real pain in the butt to get it there. So I, I think I'll, I'll make some kind of quick uh, connection here for the snow plow and the, um, um, the, the, the brush, the sweeper. 
so that I can always have this on here and just connect it here and here like the cutting deck is connected for the, the different um, accessories. Someone has put this together a little bit too tight, I think. Okay, there is a little bit of noise i have to investigate that all right i tried it out and uh, there is some kind of noise i think one of the the, the blades are hitting the um, 
the cutting deck somewhere and this cutting deck it looks a little bit like Frankenstein's monster so I'm not surprised at all but it seems to cut and it seems to actually do quite a good job so noises that's what I have these for and I'm going to try to cut the lawn now because it's so high and um, well thank you for watching and bye